Presented by Listen Headlines. Latest financial news from trusted sources. Thorex Live. October 6, 1921 America New York, U.S. Senator McConnell says a short-term debt ceiling vote is possible on Thursday. Amongst a huge news day during the U.S. time zone was this on the U.S. debt ceiling. McConnell now suggesting Thursday as a vote. Democrats have already indicated they'll be in assent. Thorex Live. October 6, 1918 America New York, BBC report that Intel is not considering a UK factory due to Brexit. The BBC with comments from the Intel CEO, says the firm is no longer considering building a factory in the UK after the country left the EU, we're looking at EU countries and getting support from the EU. New York Times Business, October 6, 1916 America New York, Meredith in deal with DotDash. People, InStyle, Entertainment Weekly and more than 40 other magazines would become part of the same company as Sirius Eats and Investopedia. The headquarters of Meredith, in Des Moines, Iowa. BBC News Business. October 6, 1906 America New York, Intel not considering UK factory due to Brexit. Boss Pat Gelsinger said the chipmaker would, absolutely, have considered the UK if it was part of the EU. BBC News Business. October 6, 1904 America New York, businesses welcome back workers as furlough ends. Fears of a big spike in job losses may be unfounded, early data suggests. BBC News Business. October 6, 1903 America New York, Nestle admits supply chain issues ahead of Christmas. Simon Jack interview on how the chocolate and ice cream giant is cleaning up its act. Thorex Live. October 6, 1903 America New York. Ex-Fed New York President Dudley says the Fed is fighting the last war on inflation. Says excess dovishness at the Federal Open Market Committee increases the risk of a major policy error at the Fed. Bill Dudley is a past resident of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, 2009 to 2018, and is now at Princeton University's Center for Economic Policy Studies. BBC News Business. October 6, 1903 America New York. Council tax bills could rise by £220, if sworns. Council tax in England could jump within the next three years, the Institute for Fiscal Studies says. BBC News Business. October 6, 1901 America New York, energy bills could rise by hundreds of pounds. Consumers should be prepared for volatile gas prices and more suppliers collapsing, analysts say. Global Economy. October 6. 1901 America New York, South Korea's global battery dominance raises supply chain risks. Industry alarmed by reliance on imports, particularly from China, as electric vehicles take off. Daily FX Market News. October 6, 1900 America New York, AUD, USD may rise after U.S. debt ceiling deal as U.S. NFPs shift into focus. The Australian dollar fell versus the US dollar overnight after strong US labor market data lifted short-term treasury yields. China's foreign exchange reserves are in view for today's APAC session. New York Times Business. October 6, 1832 America New York. Key takeaways from the fifth week of the Elizabeth Holmes trial. Jurors' eyes glazed over at detailed technical discussions as Theranos' former lab director described repeated instances of irregular and inaccurate results. Elizabeth Holmes and her mother, Noelle Holmes, last month. Thorex Live. October 6, 1831 America New York. Further rate hikes to come from the RBNZ, cash rate heading to 2.25%, from its current 0.5%. Yesterday the Reserve Bank of New Zealand kicked off its rate hike cycle. Read from the bottom bullet point up for chronology. BNZ is expecting further hikes, November the next one. The Library of Economics and Liberty. October 6, 1804 America New York, fond memories of Alkian and Tulloch. Warren Coates, who earned his PhD at the University of Chicago under Milton Friedman, sent me a reminiscence of Gordon Tulloch and mentioned Armin Alkian. He wrote, Thorex Live, October 6, 1801 America New York, Australian services PMI barely changed in September, up 0.1 to 45.7. Australian Industry Group Performance of Services Index in September to 45.7 prior 45.6 lockdown of nearly half of Australia's population impacting the services sector during the month. Daily FX Market News, October 6, 1800 America New York, 
Swiss Franc Technical Analysis, GBP, CHF, AUD, CHF, CHF, JPY Technical Setups. Swiss Franc Strength sees multiple crosses approaching significant areas of interest. Here are some key technical setups for GBP, CHF, AUD, CHF, and CHF, JPY. Global Economy, October 6, 1750 America New York, 1st FT. U.S. looks to emergency oil reserves to tame fuel price surge. Energy Secretary says, all tools are on the table, while gas prices swing after Putin's pledge. Thorex Live, October 6, 1744 America New York, China Media Highlight, Signs of Better Communication Between the World's Two Biggest Economies. Via Kaixin this report on the meeting in Switzerland between China's top diplomat Yang Jichi SNDUS. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. Thorex Live, October 6, 1734 America New York, ICYMI, U.S. Energy Secretary on SPR, Oil Export Ban. Energy markets had the wild ride on Wednesday, oil and gas surged only to be slashed a little later in the session. As covered by Greg in the wrap, also overnight, U.S. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm said that all tools were on the table in efforts to contain rising gasoline prices. The Library of Economics and Liberty. October 6, 1708 America New York, the $1 trillion platinum coin. A non-economist friend emailed me yesterday and asked me to explain the proposal for a $1 trillion platinum coin. The proposal is that the Treasury mint a coin with a face value of $1 trillion and sell it to the Federal Reserve for $1 trillion. Forex Live, October 6, 1702 America New York, further easing of COVID-19 restrictions in Australia's largest population state. The vaccination rate of double-dosed in New South Wales has hit greater than 70%. 80% is the target for much more substantial easings, but new Premier on NSW Perotet will announce changes to opening at 9 a.m. local time, 2200 GMT. Daily FX Market News. October 6, 1700 American New York, major U.S. stock indices eke out gains after Wild Day, but Russell 2000 ends lower. s and Amp. P500. Dow Jones and Nasdaq 100 end the day in green on possible debt limit deal, but Russell 2000 fails to erase losses and finishes in negative territory.